So we just found a termite's nest, guys. These are very, very common in Dumbuyong. Sometimes they're nearly, um, as uh, I'd say, up to Grant's waist, where his hand is right now. Really massive, big termite's nests. Any particular uses for these in the Noongar people, Grant? Yeah, the old fellas, they used to, when they wanted to cook or smoke something, they'd break the top off. Yep. And they'd dig a, dig a bit of oil and put ashes in there. Yep. And all through the holes, what the ants made, the smoke would come through and smoke their food. Oh, wow. And they'd cover it back. Well, that's the way they smoked their food. Yep. So, yeah. they, had a, get... they had a way of surviving. You know? Yeah. And it was a simple way of life, but it was effective. Yep. So basically, guys, they kicked the yeah top the, off. Yeah, they kicked the top off with the feet, and it'd easily break off. I could easily do it now. Yeah. Probably done it before, even when I was a kid. Yeah. And uh, exactly what Grant just said. Another way of cooking food for the Noongar Aboriginal yeah. people. You know, the Noongar, all Aboriginal people, guys, all around Australia, just as as intelligent as the white man, guys. You know, if not, probably even more intelligent. Look how they've survived for tens of thousands of years all by themselves prior to white contact and I yeah awesome. thanks Grant that's yeah. beautiful and I've just learnt something myself so yeah. one day I'll even talk about that when I yeah. do yeah. myself a YouTube video yep but that's well, the way when that's the way that they'd cook anyways so yep they had different ways of and your dad stuff. taught you this, Henry Riley. Yeah. yeah. And yep. also they used to cook in paper bark and yeah. all that sort yep. of thing. Yeah. You know? Well we'll talk about that yeah. when we get to where we're going. Yep. Thanks, Grant. No worries, Bill.